Now, the Nigeria Railway Corporation has stopped services on the Abuja Kaduna route following allegations that a path of the train track has been bombed by bandits. A former senator from Kaduna State, Sheho Sani, posted on his verified Twitter handle that bandit attacked a train on the route on Wednesday. The Abuja Kaduna train service station manager, Pascal Norley, confirmed to a correspondent that there was an attack on the train but could not tell if it was with an explosive. Now, investigations are ongoing to verify the speculation. Now, joining us to discuss uh, the bombing in uh, that particular road is Adamu Kabiru, and he is a security consultant. Many thanks for joining us on Plus uh, News now as we look at all of these issues tonight. Kabiru. Thank you, I'm Justin. Good evening. Well, let's talk about uh, this particular uh, incident that happened today. You know, it happened along uh, the Abuja Kaduna train uh, route, and uh, we've not been able to confirm uh, if uh, there were any you know casualties. But so far, if you were to assess, where does this really leave us? You know, we have been struggling with the issues of insecurity in Nigeria, and right now, these bandits or this uh, insurgents, as it were, are now you know attacking you know rail lines. What does this really tell us? So it's, I mean, it's quite unfortunate. The uh, traveler, commuters between Abuja and Kaduna have for some time been left with only that option. Uh, other options either are not affordable to them, uh, that's if the, if the, the flight option, um, or uh, if they decide to go by route, the risk is too high. So the train service has been more or less the only option for movement between um, uh, Abuja and Kaduna. Now, with this development, it means uh, commuting between the two cities would be hugely affected. Um, people would have to resort to traveling by route, uh, which means uh, the risk that you know they were running away from, they've now unfortunately been left with no choice. So number one, where does it leave us? It leaves us with a huge gap in terms of uh, the demand for free movement um, between the two critical parts of the country. And our prayer and hope is that the security agencies would respond um, to this, knowing very well that uh, people would now resort to traveling by road and the bandits too are likely to take advantage of the heavy movement on the road. Now, in terms of the incident itself, um, I think I've seen several reports uh, from the NRC indicating that apart from slight injury to the driver and one or two other persons, and there were no uh, major injuries or, or casualties from the incident. Uh, but there is a big uh, yawning gap, which is the gap of surveillance. Um, we know that the, that rail track traverses through a forest um, and area where these bandits have been operating at least for the past five to six years. And so um, the need for surveillance, both aerial and, you know, if it's possible, other means of surveillance where the railway corporation would have the knowledge and capability of any breach on the perimeter where that fence is located um, should have been in place uh, to the extent that Okay. When someone breach, breaches the fence and plant, plant, plants and, uh, a bomb or whatever kind of device on the truck, that would have been detected. All right, Kabir, I just want to take it um, from where you left off. You talked about surveillance and all of that. So my question is, could this have been averted over time? You know, that particular location, that's the Kaduna Abuja route, has actually been prone to violence. You even said that uh, before now, most people have avoided using that particular, you know, the road, you know, to travel. They have resorted, you know, to, you know, to the rail line. So what... Have we missed out as a country vis-a-vis -vis the security um, agencies? What have they failed to see and how better could they have handled this, you know, proactively, that is? Um, so, I mean, I, I know there was a time when there was discussion to construct fences around the perimeter of the entire rail track. Um, it's a very expensive project and so maybe uh, it was jettisoned. Um, however, uh, surveillance is absolutely necessary if we are going to restore the confidence of Nigerians to resume using that, that train. Um, beyond surveillance, uh, the need for repeat response 
um, from what we are told, uh, the incident when it happened, um, I think sometime around seven to eight, uh, before uh, another locomotive could be deployed, it took them almost four to five hours because it was around, I think, 12 um, in the morning, actually around 1 in a.m. in the morning that the second local locomotive was sent. So imagine if uh, the, the attackers, whoever they were, their objective was abduc abduction. Believe me, they would have abducted the entire people in that train. I know that um, there are about 10 um, security personnel, um, you know, uniformed ones, and then probably a similar number that are uniformed in, in, in the train. So maybe they would have put up some form of resistance. But where we have a situation where bandits, 50 to 100 to 150 of them come, what would 20 uh, armed you know, security personnel do to that, that, that type of numbers? So, it, I mean, the good news is that that didn't happen, but it, it's a warning. It, um, they should tell us that uh, those vulnerabilities that are applicable to rail transportation in Nigeria that we were taken for granted. All we right. should um, enhance the capacity to protect our rail lines better than what we're doing at the moment. Indeed, we need to protect um, the rail lines, since, uh, rail lines that is, since the federal government is actually looking in that direction, we're what we tell lots of um, rail uh, lines and constructed across the country. But then again, uh, so uh, how, just what should we be telling uh, residents uh, who apply that particular route, that's the Kaduna Abuja route, vis-a-vis, uh, -vis, you know, safety and all of that? Uh, first off, is to be vigilant. Um, there are telltale signs that will tell you something is wrong. Uh, especially when you notice reduced, um, you know, uh, uh, transportation vehicles on on um, traffic that is on on the route, you, you would you are likely to um, sense that something is wrong. So anytime uh, commuters notice that, uh, it it should be a warning. Um, second point is as much as possible move in groups. Um, I know this is not uh, going to deter the criminals, but at least it would be some form of um, you know right. protection that means you traveling alone. Then thirdly, uh, avoid travel at night. Um, as much as possible, travel during daylight hours and um, where you can, um, if it's possible, reach out to people along the route if you've got contacts. Right. And yeah. I always say this. No, just wrap up. You were going to say something in closure. Yeah, I, I always say this. The National Union of Railroad Transport Workers, NURTW, is a very good um, source of reliable information. You, they've got members across the entire route in all the small parks that are on those routes. So try and you know loop in into that, that network and see what you can hear from them. Of course, if something is wrong on the route, they will know. And that will be for you your best bet to avoid traveling on that route. So that, that kind of um, checks. Uh, ahead of traveling while you are traveling would be helpful. Um, mm -hmm. Where we can, um, if we know the hot spots, then as much as possible, uh, if we sense um, you know, no co no commuters on the route near the hot spots, it's also um, another warning. Right, thank you, so Kabir. Vigilance is the way to go. All right, thank you, Kabir Adamu, uh, for joining us. He is the MD Beacon Consulting and Security. Thanks for sharing your thoughts concerning the protection of railway, uh, rail lines across Nigeria. We do appreciate your time. Thank you, Justin. Yeah. Night. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.